What's going on you guys? Welcome back to EP09. Okay, so we're going to start this one off with an update from Ross Flanagan. Now, Ross did have a pretty decent amount of time to hit a rebound phase after winning the Cali Pro earlier this season, and I'm actually pretty impressed with the amount of size that Ross was able to gain in a relatively short period of time. He looks overall, I think, more balanced from top to bottom, and I think a lot of that has to do with the size he looks like he's gained in the arms. It does look like he's gained some more outer quad sweep as well, so overall, I think Ross will be improved for the 2023 Olympia. He still has more overall size to put on, but you can really see how dangerous he'll be once he does gain that size. Ross is actually one of the few bodybuilders I think that actually looks better in the back poses with that wider stance in the legs. He still fills out the pose very well, and his X-frame just looks to be on point, I gotta say. So, at around 11 weeks out of his Olympia debut, it looks like he'll be bringing his best. Okay, so next up, I have another update here from Michael Crizzo, and I think it's very, very clear at this point that Crizzo is on a whole other level this year. His physique just looks like it absolutely blew up after his win at the M-Pro Classic, and even that was his best look to date. Crizzo was one of the most anticipated Olympia debuts of the 2022 season, and I am very confident that he will improve on his 12th place finish from the 2022 Olympia. This hard, grainy, vascular look is not what we really saw at any point of Crizzo's 2022 Olympia prep. Last year, he was in the conversation for that top six at the Olympia in some circles, and this year, based on what we're seeing so far, it's pretty hard to rule out that possibility again. Crizzo definitely means business this year. There is no denying it. So next up, we have an update here from Charles Griffin, and Charles is another bodybuilder that looks like he means business this year. He looks like he means serious business this year. Now that he's fully recovered from that minor pec tear, being the relentless competitor that Charles is, he is ready to get back on stage. And he confirmed this in a response to one of my comments on his Instagram, that he is now targeting the Legion Sports Fest as his next competition. Which you guys, this is really exciting news. There are very few bodybuilders out there that could suffer from an injury like Charles did and bounce back to not only compete in the same year, but actually improve in the process and be at their best. And I'm talking about the legs especially. You can't train upper body? No problem. Just switch to training legs three days a week. That's what Charles did. So I think we're all in store to see the best Charles Griffin to ever grace a bodybuilding stage, and I think anyone else doing the Legion Sports Fest is going to have their hands full. Now the next show that we have is the Texas Pro this upcoming weekend, and the competitors have now landed and are ready to throw down this weekend. Now, I'm sure you've all seen the official competitors list by now, and of course, this is going to be a battle in that top three between Hunter, Andrew Jack, and Carlos Thomas Jr. Now, I've covered Hunter and Carlos in previous videos leading up to the show, and of course we haven't seen really any updates from Andrew Jack, which is also not surprising. This is what he does when he goes and trains with Psycho Lewis, but I've actually been the most impressed so far by Hunter Labrada. And judging from what we're seeing from Hunter within 48 to 24 hours from taking the stage here, Hunter is definitely going to be at least as good as he was in Tampa, and he may even be able to come in a couple of points sharper yet. Now, I've been asked about my top three predictions for this show, and I actually gave my top three predictions during a podcast over on Serious and Silliness Bodybuilding hosted by John Livia. Myself, John, and Mark's Max Muscle have a bit of a side bet happening, and I'm still very confident I've got the top three picks correct at this point. So look, I will tell you guys that I have Andrew Jackson first, I have Hunter in second, and I have Carlos Thomas Jr. in third. Now, as for my reasons for these picks, you guys should go check out the podcast. It was actually a lot of fun. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys, and let me know who you have in the top three this weekend in Texas. Okay, so next up, after recently appearing at a guest posing at 12 weeks out of the Olympia, we have an even more impressive physique update here from the butcher, Brett Wilkin. And this really made me consider who I think is going to have the best Olympia debut in 2023. As of right now, Brett has to be put near the very top of that list. He's looking big, proportionate, his conditioning is on track for this far out of the show, and I think Brett really has an opportunity to make his own statement at this year's Olympia. I mean, just look at the arms, the chest, the quads. I mean, this update has me convinced that we will definitely 
See, the best Brett Wilkin we've ever seen on a bodybuilding stage at the Olympia. Assuming that he nails that peak, which I do think he will. He was insanely conditioned at the Romania Pro when he earned his Olympia qualification last year. So I think we're really in for something special this year. Very special. The Olympia is just around the corner, you guys. It'll be here before you know it. But as for now, we'll keep our eyes on the Texas Pro this weekend. Stay tuned. I'll have all the updates for you guys right here. But for now, thank you for tuning in to EP09. Be sure to like and subscribe.